Millie could not give two craps about this video. But she is here to chew on her bone throughout it, so apologize in advance. Hi guys, it's Reagan, and I am here with my April favorites. As I mentioned, I have Matilda. She's chewing on a bone. So for this video, I also wanted to combine it with a bit of a spring haul. I have been collecting a few warmer weather essentials, as I would like to say, um, to carry me through this warmer season. Basically, I have bought quite a few new dresses. I love dresses. I literally have five dresses and one shirt to show you. Jeans are great. I love jeans. I wear jeans probably 320 into 365 days a year. That's probably not true. Like 300, but then the 65 other days, I'm wearing a dress because it's hot and I can't be bothered with jeans. But anyway, without further ado, let's dive into the haul portion of this video. First four dresses I'm actually going to show off are all red, white, or blue, or a combination of those things. Um, I accidentally got a little patriotic here, but I don't know. They're very fun, very summery, and very springy. So the first dress I'm going to show off is actually from Cezanne and probably my favorite dress I've ever bought or owned in my entire life. It is this red, white, and blue vertical striped dress. It also comes with this adorable fabric belt that kind of cinches everything in. It's a midi length. It's a linen shirt dress. I love this dress. I saw them post this on their Instagram. I immediately knew I had to have it. It makes me so happy just looking at it. Um, and it's just like the perfect lightweight summer dress. So I did pick this up. I can't wait to wear it. I haven't worn it yet. Um, it hasn't been consistently warm enough yet, but we're, we're definitely getting there though. So I'm definitely excited to have this in my collection. It's the greatest thing I own, so it's fine. It's just perfect, whatever. Next dress I have to show off is another shirt dress, uh, but this time from Anthropology. It is this red um, crossed stitch. I don't know if you can kind of tell, but it does have like a stitching texture through it. Uh, belted shirt dress. This does belt. I love the vibrant red collar. I love the v-neck uh, shirt dress collar. It's super flattering. They have this in literally all sizes. I just feel like it's just one of those magic dresses that anyone could put on and just feel great in. Again, the vibrant collar I'm a big fan of. Another lightweight linen style dress, perfect for the summer, and another midi length, so perfect for the office, and just perfect with like walking around the city. I honestly just in general prefer a midi length dress um, I'm just more comfortable in them, so you'll see that pretty much everything I buy is that length. But yeah, I picked this up and I love it. Next, I got this dress from Madewell. It is this eyelet style dress. It's a v-neck and it has this really beautiful like laser cut eyelet. I bought it also in this vibrant color red. Clearly, I'm having a bit of a red moment. Um, but I really liked the lace detailing and I just, no, I don't know. I thought the red was really, really fun and kind of brought this very classic style of dress to a new fun place. They also have it in a light pink and a yellow, so I'll leave that link down below. But yeah, picked it up in red. I love it, so got this. The next dress I picked up is in a vibrant blue color, sticking on the red and blue and white trend. Uh, it's this guy here, and this is also from Anthropology. This was a bit outside of my comfort zone as it's a bit more fitted through the bottom. But I honestly think it's, again, very flattering and super cute. In another dress they have made in all sizes, Anthropology now has a plus size range. So they now finally cater to every size woman as they should have already done, but excited that they're now doing it. Um, I, I do love this though. It's in this cornflower blue. It has these buttons all the way down. It ties in the middle. It's a little bit more fitted, as I said, but I do think it's super flattering. You can dress this up, dress it down by wearing a t-shirt underneath it. It just really screams summer to me, and I'm gonna bring this to my upcoming trip to Austin, and I can't wait, and yeah, I do feel quite good in it. And the very last dress I'm gonna show off till I show off my one blouse is also from Cezanne, and it is amazing. It's this black and white check wrap gingham dress. It's a true wrap dress and probably the best wrap dress I have ever tried on. Uh, I sometimes find with wrap dresses, I put them on and they're either too low cut, they gape, they don't really work for my body type, but this one from Cezanne is perfect. Absolutely perfect. They have it in a lot of different prints. I opted for the gingham, but they have like solid colors, other types of prints. Again, I love gingham. Um, and this is just amazing and I can't wait to wear this every day of this summer. It's the perfect length. It's so flattering, cotton, breathable. It's, 
it's the best dress. It's the best dress. Second best dress I own. And the very last thing I'm going to show off is a blouse, and it is this plaid blouse from Madewell. I have been getting a lot of wear out of this as it's still been kind of chilly, so I've been wearing this with jeans and a sweater to work. I don't know, it has this very peculiar fabric. It's kind of this sheer fabric, but it has this very pastel-y plaid print that I really like. Um, it kind of reminds me of like a 1950s style of shirt for some reason. I love a lot of things about it. It's a little weird in a way that makes it, I don't know, kind of fun and unique. I've been wearing this a bunch. I think I've also worn it already in a video, so really happy to have picked this up. But that is all of the spring things I have gotten, well, spring and summer, because all of these things will work just as perfectly for the summertime as well, but wanted to show it off to you all. Now moving on to the non-clothing portion of this video, and we'll chat about music, movies, and television shows. Um, so the first is music. I would say, again, I've been listening to a lot of playlists, but two artists that have really kind of creeped to the top of my list is the new uh, Khalid album. I have been really liking his Free Spirit album. I've always been a big fan of him, and I really do like this new album a lot, so that has been definitely on repeat at the office. Additionally, I have been listening to a new artist for me. I'm pretty sure she's very, very, very super, super popular, but Lennon Cella? Lennon Stella? Lennon Stella. I really like her music a lot, especially her like acoustic sets I think are so good. So she has been really moving up the uh, the the play count as well. So I'd say those two are my favorite artists of the month. Moving on to TV, first and foremost, I am almost done with My Hero Academia. I took a bit of a break, but I think I'm on episode like 45, 46. Uh, I'm definitely in the sub um, category now because I, I, I ran out of dub episodes so I've been watching it in sub which has been really nice as well. Um, loving this show so much. It's so fun. I just love all of these characters so much. I just love the superhero academy setting. I just think it's like a great time. Almost done, almost caught up. I think what I'll watch next after I finish this is Hunter x Hunter which is another anime that I have just been meaning to watch for years and just haven't gotten to. So I think that's the plan there. Clay and I did finish Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, which is so exciting. Clay loved it so much. I'll definitely do a vlog feature with him talking about it, but really liked it. I'm not sure what we're gonna watch next. I think maybe Marvelous Miss Maisel or This Is Us or Finish Friends. We, we aren't quite sure yet. I know Clay is also like very sad Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood's over, so we might honestly watch another anime, TBD. But it was so fun to rewatch this with Clay. It's one of my favorite animes of all time, so it was really fun to one watch it again, but like experience it with Clay as well. Actually, some reality TV faves: Survivor, Going Strong, Loving Edge of Extinction this month, uh, as well as Amazing Race is back, which is so great. So happy that that's back, and it's literally a cross of all of my favorite reality television shows, all in one place, which is awesome. And then the challenge, of course, number one. Number one favorite reality TV show still going strong, so I would say those are all of the TV I have been watching. I almost forgot to talk about Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones is back in the month of April, and Clay and I have been watching and loving that, of course. Moving on to movies. We haven't been watching a lot of movies. We have been watching a lot of documentaries, though, so like, documentaries, short style documentaries um, from Vice, we've been watching a lot of those. And then we also watched the Elizabeth Holmes documentary, which was very, very interesting. But I think aside from those kind of documentary moments, those are the main movies we watch. Of course, in filming this, I haven't seen Endgame yet. We do have tickets for that. Uh, but this will go live before Endgame's out. I'm sure you'll understand. I'll talk about it in my next video and I'll vlog it. So. Never fear. Guys, that is my April favorites and spring haul. Hopefully you enjoyed. Let me know down below some favorites you've had as I would love to know. And I'll see you guys soon with another video soon. Goodbye.